I left uh, India uh, 33 years ago. I left in 1980, uh, initially to uh, do my international baccalaureate in Dubai, and uh, then went to the United States in 1981 uh, to pursue a degree at Northeastern University in Boston in chemical engineering. I've spent most of my career in innovation, research and development, and one of the things I was very keen to do in looking at India was to bring that innovative thinking to India, and in India still seemed to be in the infancy of where they were on their journey towards innovation and research and development. So in my case, I saw India as an opportunity to actually take what I like most and bring it and develop it further. And there was a lot of opportunity available. Uh, Aditya Birla Group is a company that has for many years acquired technologies. And in my interview with the chairman, one of the things he wanted to promote was the development of technology within India. And that was one of the things I saw as a nice marriage between what I wanted to do and what Aditya Birla was seeking in doing while they were in India. I, mean, I met with the chairman and with Santrup Mishra. And uh, out of all the things that I remember very clearly is the day I met them was the day I was interviewing. And that very same day, they made me an offer. And I thought the company was a very decisive company. Yeah, they made uh, decisions and moved forward. So I did three weeks of uh, initial onboarding, met some very interesting people. Many of them have become my very close friends. And, and I still have quite a few people to meet overseas in Egypt and Thailand and the United States, uh, which is where our companies uh, are. And, uh, uh, I hope to do all of it within the next two years. But onboarding was a very enjoyable process for me. Uh, it was a very interesting process for me. And I got to meet some of the most interesting people in my life so far. I see growth as twofold. One can come from acquisition. The other can come from internal development. This company has had a mix of both. Uh, it's grown tremendously over the past decade. I think the chairman in telling us that he wanted to build internal technology was also looking to, for growth to come in from internally, from within the company. So I see us developing things that will actually hit the chairman's target of 6510. I feel certain that this company is on that path and it's going to achieve it not just by acquisition, it's going to achieve it also by doing things that are internally driven, internally technically driven. So I see a lot of uh, new growth in the current business, but I also see new growth in sustainability, innovation, all the things that are embodying new development within the company. While most people are looking to develop the next generation of novel technology, uh, what Aditya Birla Science and Technology Group has taken on is sustainability and how to get the maximum amount of value from our byproduct or waste streams. The talent pool at the Ditya Birla Group is exceptional. It is uh, extremely educated, uh, very well positioned in terms of how they manage their businesses in terms of talent, given it be technical, finance, uh, marketing, the areas that they're looking to get into with the current businesses that they have uh, were very uh, technically driven, so it, it appealed to someone that was getting into corporate R&D. A company and em an employer can offer an employee many things, and an employee can give back in many ways. The most important thing that an employee can give back and that a company recognizes right away is loyalty. We must differentiate ourselves from all others. And in order to differentiate yourself, you must think in terms of new product development, operational excellence. These are the things that we are embodying. And 
If we do that well in training the next level of uh, uh, people that join us, I know we will have the leaders for the future for the Tibbilla group. At the end of the day, you will realize that in India, people make the difference, you know, and uh, just getting to know these people and taking them beyond just my professional work and making them, uh, not making them, becoming friendly or friends with them has been very important to my transition from the United States to India.